I, I, I thank you for joining me again. I know it's been a while, but anyway, you are welcome. It's still me. Yeah, nothing much changed. Yeah, I think nothing changed. Anyway, hmm, I am back with full gist. <laughs> First of all, please, you need to get you a copy of this. Imagine this being in your um, library. How would I feel? Anyway, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I want to start with this true life experience that happened um, when I was traveling down to this country. It's actually funny, but it's not funny. So a few weeks before I left Nigeria, I had a dream. <laughs> In that dream, I dreamed that I slept off at the airport. Okay, so in the journey, there was a we have a layover at another country that is Qatar, and I had a dream that I slept up and I missed my plane coming to Canada. Would you believe that? Anyway, so do you know it actually happened? Hmm. I have never seen the devil so mad at something before, to be very sincere. And it actually just made me realize how much God can prove to his children that he's with us in every journey. You know, he actually proved himself to me and I am just so, so grateful. So to the gist, right? So I got to Qatar. Um, okay, I'm actually so lost on the time now, but the plane coming to Canada was supposed to um, take off by let's like 8 like 8 a.m. Really girl was tired. I have been up and down like since the day before because the whole journey was supposed to take about 24 hours. So I was very tired at that point. So I went to the boarding gate, they checked me in and we were supposed to stay um, to wait in the waiting room. I think the waiting time, as at the time I got into the waiting room, I still had to start to sit for about an hour before boarding, you know, the plane. I was like, I still have time. I brought out my phone, I was watching, I think I was watching a, a movie or something like that. To the glory of God, I slept off. My dear people, by the time I woke up, I was the only one sitting down. And I was like, what? Hey, hey. See, my head was, was turning on you like egg mommy, BC. What happened? So, but by the grace of God, and uh, you know, it's actually good when God shows you something and you pray ahead because a lot of prayers have come. In fact, it, it goes to a point that I was like, there will she, 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 she think of seal. <laughs> Let me use my bag. Since the thing can sail. But anyway, so when I just woke up, I realized I was the only one sitting down. These white people don't leave me. I was literally sitting down beside two white people. I come to airport, come sleep. Like you saw somebody sleeping and then you left the car and then you were going, why now? Ah, see, I just miss my country people. I was seen somebody sleeping when I know that we are going on the same journey. Oh, when did they? But these people, they just left me alone. No, I said I left my house, I left my country to come here to come and sleep. But to God be the glory, I woke up and I quickly joined the light and I entered the place. <laughs> In fact, I totally forgot that I actually had a, a dream you know um before that happened it was until like you know god here i remember that way to um i actually dreamed that this happened and then it happened but then we thank god for prayers because yeah the dream didn't really you know it didn't manifest but to god be the glory anyway this is me officially welcoming you back to my channel i really can promise you that i'll be consistent but i'll try to be see you later